I'm growing taller and getting bigger And look here I am, I'm all grown up Now I'm growing up and getting bigger I can eat by myself without anyone's help And I can also prepare my lunchbox Look, I'm preparing this because I want to go camping with my friends Hmm And I can also prepare my belongings for camping See? Now, before we go, let's pray together Lord Jesus, thanks for this beautiful day We want to praise your name Please bless us so our hearts will be filled with love, joy, and peace In Jesus' name we pray, Amen Now, let's go camping while praising Jesus Come on kids, let's follow us as we praise Jesus together. Jesus lives in your heart Don't 
be afraid of anything, anything, anything. Don't be afraid of anything, cause Jesus lives in your heart. Cause Jesus lives in your heart. One more time. Cause Jesus lives in your heart. Supernatural God, so let's praise Jesus together. Pull us like this, clap your hand. This when we can see miracles, your wonders everywhere. Here is my life, Lord, you can use me to show the world you can. See miracles, your wonders everywhere. Here is my life, Lord. You can use me to show the world you care. You made me, you saved me, Lord. You called me and give me Jesus, supernatural, supernatural. Supernatural, supernatural God I'm gonna praise you Supernatural, supernatural God All things are possible Supernatural, supernatural God I'm gonna praise you Salvation, thank you for your grace. Your name is higher than any other. Greatly to be praised. You made me, you saved me, Lord. You called me. Let's jump together and give me Jesus. Supernatural, supernatural. Supernatural, supernatural God I'm gonna praise you Supernatural, supernatural God All things are possible Supernatural, supernatural God I'm gonna praise you I'm gonna praise you I'm gonna praise you See miracles. You made me, you saved me, Lord. You called me, let's go and give me Jesus, supernatural, supernatural God. All things are possible, supernatural. Supernatural God I'm gonna praise you Supernatural Supernatural God All things are possible Supernatural Supernatural God I'm gonna praise you I'm gonna praise you I'm gonna praise you I'm gonna praise you Let's prepare, prepare our heart. We want to worship Jesus. We want to know Jesus. I wanna be like Jesus, him like Jesus. Do what he would do. In every way, everywhere, every day. Let his love and I wanna be like Jesus, so that Jesus will be seen in me. Father, help me be like Jesus. I wanna be like Jesus, think like Jesus. Let me 
Jesus is here right now. Jesus is with us because He loves and He cares for you. Let's sing this song. Struggling folding my own clothes, I don't think I will ever be able to fit all of my clothes into my luggage. What about you guys? Yes, I have. Look, it's in a bag already. Wow, that's very neat, Nana. I can't fold my clothes by myself, so I just stuffed into here. But it will get wrinkled then. But Nana, this is very neat. Did you do it all by yourself? Yes, I do it all by myself. If you can do it yourself, then who usually do it for you? Well, my mom helps me folding all of my clothes. Yeah, me too. I always have someone to help me folding my clothes. At first, I can do it also, but my mom teach me several times, and finally, I can do it by myself. I can do it myself. Oh, wow. My mom already taught me how to do it, but I'm still struggling. I don't know how to do it. Folding clothes isn't hard at all. Do you want me to teach you? Really? Yes, yes, yes. teach us, please. Okay, kids at home, do you want to learn how to fold your clothes too? Let me teach you. First, prepare your clothes and here's the instruction. How to fold your shirt. First, you put your shirt on the table just like this second you fold the first side into the middle and if the sleeves are long you can fold like this and you can do the other side in the same way like the first side and then you fold it into one just like this next we will learn how to fold pants first put the pants on the table just like this and we fold it into one next we divide into three and fold it to the middle just like this and finish oh i see now let me try yes yes i also want to try it uh, is it correct yes fold that part yeah Okay, fold, fold it like yes, this. Yes, like that. Okay, one more time. One more time. Okay. Yay! Okay. Yay! Wow, good job, Belly and Jane. Now you can fold your own clothes. Yes, you're right. I can fold my own clothes. I can do it myself. Mm, but I think I still need some help because mine is still a bit messy. It's okay, Jane. You just need to try it several times until you can do it well. There are also some types of clothes that are hard to be folded, and I also need my mom's help. Mm, I'm so happy that now I can eat by myself, prepare my own lunchbox, and now I can fold my own clothes. I will do things that I can do by myself. I can do it myself. Let's say it together. I can do it myself. Come on, Jane, let's pack all your stuff. We're going camping together. Okay. Hi girl kids, how did you feel when the first time you tried to ride a bicycle? It takes time right? And sometimes we may fall down or even crashing into something. But all those experiences cannot compare to the feeling when you finally can ride your bicycle. Your parents will be proud of you too. 
I remember when the first time I helped my daughter and son to ride a bike, I was jumping up and down and so happy to see that they could ride the bike by themselves. Let us reflect what would happen when you learn to ride a bicycle, you fell down, you cried maybe, and then you gave up. You said to yourself, I will never try to ride a bicycle again. Then if you chose that, we won't be able to enjoy the beautiful experience that riding a bike with a friend or the family. Like the story of Peter that he never gave up to try, even though he failed at the first few tries. Before we hear the story, let's pray together. Dear Jesus, thank you that this time we can gather together and listen to your word. Lord, please speak to us. Uh, please come to our heart and teach us so that we can learn how we can do things by ourselves and we never give up to the things that we be will become our responsibilities in life. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. One day, Jesus was standing beside Lake Galilee. Many people were pressing all around him. They wanted to hear the word of God. Jesus saw two boats at the shore of the lake. The fishermen had left them and were washing their nets. Jesus got into one of the boats, the one which belonged to Simon. Jesus asked Simon to push a little from the land. Jesus sat down in the boat and continued to teach the people on the shore. When Jesus had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Take the boat into deep water. If you will put your nets in the water, you will catch some fish. Simon answered, Master, we worked hard all night trying to catch fish, but we caught nothing. But you say to put the nets in the water, so I will. The fishermen did as Jesus told them, and they caught so many fish that the nets began to break. They called to their friends in the other boat to come and help them. The friends came and both boats were filled so full that they were almost sinking. Simon is a great fisherman. He is a hard working fisherman. He can do a lot of things by himself. Peter has the initiative when to look for fish. I'm sure it all started when Peter was still a young kid. He learned fishing from his dad. He kept trying and trying and finally he became a fisherman himself. Eagle kids, let us have the bravery to do the things ourselves. For example, it may not be easy to buttoning your clothes. We have our parents who may be helping us. Now, when next time they help us, we pay attention. How do they do it? Then ask your parents, can I try to do it myself? Give it a go and see how wonderful you can do it yourself. Eagle kids, we also need to have the initiative to look after ourselves. Don't let someone continually serve us. One example, every morning, your parents may prepare you a breakfast. You can ask your parents, Papa, Mama, can I help you to prepare breakfast for myself and even for the family? Then when we had a meal, we can learn how to wash our plates. It will be a blessing for our parents. And here are the big words for today. I can do it by myself. Okay, let's do it together. Yeah, I can do it by myself. One, two, three. I can do it by myself. One more time. One, two, three. I can do it by myself. That's good. Remember, every time 
when you think there is something that you can learn to do it yourself remember this big word big word i can do it by myself then try give it a try and i'm sure you will be able to do it When Peter friends in the boat saw that Peter boat began to sink, they immediately helped Peter. Because of that, Peter boat did not fall. Peter's friend also filled the boat with many fish. When you have achieved great things, always have a heart that is ready to help others. We do not look down if we have friends who cannot do what we can do. We do not boast our achievement to others. Instead, we show kindness by helping others to succeed too. I give you an example. If you can tie your shoelace while your sibling still cannot do it, we gladly teach our siblings how to do it. Another example. If your friends at school, they have not finished their activity, we can encourage them and teach them how to complete the difficult tasks. Many times, we will learn more as we teach others. Let's say it out and loud. I can help others. Yes, I can help others. Finally, give thanks to the Lord for all the success we have achieved. When Peter caught that many fish, Peter bowed to Jesus and expressed his gratitude. Yes, I can do it by myself, but it is God that gives us strength and wisdom to accomplish them. Give all the glory to God. Let us conclude with one verse from Philippians 4 verse 13. It says, I can do all things who give me strength. I can do all things who gives me strength. Who gives you strength? It's God. To God be the glory. Eagle Kids, today we learn that we can see everything in this world. You can see if you can do it, try to do it yourself because God has given you the ability to do that. God wants you to grow. Your parents want to see you grow as well. And I know you can do it through Christ who strengthened you and give you wisdom and power to do it. Now, if you want to try the things that normally you cannot do it yet, but now you want to do it, can you give your thumbs up? Yes. Can you give your thumbs up? Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Let's pray together. Dear Jesus, thank you for all the eagle kids that try to be, to do everything by themselves. Try to do things that they can do or their parents start to teach them how to do and they want to give it a go to do it by themselves. Give them courage. Give them ability. Give them wisdom, Lord. I pray that you always be with them. Everything that they do, you make them successful. Lord, give patience to all the eagle kids. Give courage. Give uh, also ability that they are not being boastful for all the achievement, but always give all the glory to you alone. Thank you, Jesus. Please take care and love every one of them. In Jesus' name, Lord, we pray for the blessing. May the blessing from the Lord Jesus, the blessing from the Father, and the blessing from the Holy Spirit always be upon you. God will make you a victory. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Hi guys, it's activity time. Today we're going to make a kiwi. Alright, it's very easy. All you need is two pieces of origami paper, one brown origami paper, and a green origami paper. Alright, 
now i'm going to show you this one is about 16 centimeters times 16 centimeters okay then for the green one is about 14 centimeters times 14 centimeters now let's put the green paper at the top of our brown paper and you can use double tape or you can use glue to put it together but remember only put the glue or double tape at the center of the green paper only okay please leave the edge unglue because we're going to cut it later right now let's fold the paper into half like this right and then let's open it up and fold it again right now let's open it again and turn it around now let's fold the edge to the center of our paper like this okay now let's do it again for the second edge okay see please remember to leave the edge unglue all right and then let's do it one more time all right now we're going to fold our paper again into half like this please do it carefully this time okay do it carefully and neatly now open it up let's fold it again at different direction okay open it again and turn it around now we're going to do the same thing just like we did before bring all the edge to the center of the paper okay do it again all right and do it one more time all right now we're going to All right now we're going to turn it around and then we're going to make it in a circle shape okay because kiwi is in a circle shape right now let's take a marker and then let's draw a quarter circle like this okay draw a quarter circle at the green paper here and then do another quarter circle at the brown paper Okay, do something like this. It's very simple. Just make one at the green paper and one at the brown paper. Then we're going to cut it out like this. Okay, see? And also remember to draw the seed of our kiwi at the at the edge. Alright. Now see just like what we did before, we draw the quarter circle and then we cut it out and we will have something like this okay right now let's turn it around and then let's write down our big message what's our big message i can do it by myself okay good job now let's write it down i can do it by myself at at the back of the paper like this okay now we're going to puff up our kiwi okay so we're going to make the kiwi into a circle please pay attention carefully insert your finger like this okay one at every paper and then you will have something like this yay this one it looks like a kiwi Good job guys it may be hard but remember if you try i can do it by myself all right good job guys and that's it for today see you next time god bless you guys since we're camping how about if we dance together that would be great let's go okay now let us and kids at home dance together
was so much fun camping with you guys. Yes, and I'm so happy that I can fold my own clothes. I can do it myself. And Nana, thank you for teaching us. Yes, you're welcome. Wow, I can't believe we've been playing here for a month, right in this fruit world. Yes, and remember in the first week we learned that I will talk it out nicely. And for the second week we learned that I am responsible. And in the third week we learned that I will listen carefully. And today, the last, we learned that I can do it myself. So that's it guys, next week we'll be back with more exciting stories. So see you next week on Eagle Kids Online Service. Stay safe and God bless you!